Hello there and welcome. My name is Linda and this is my channel Linda T70. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Um, it's really good to have your company. Um, thank you for all your comments on my previous video which was the shall I keep or donate dress clothes scenario thing. Um, very you know, lots of lots of comments lots of opinions and I appreciate that thank you for any new subscribers obviously goes out saying thank you any um, existing subscribers for for watching um, and if you're new out there hope you enjoy the video and maybe you'd like to subscribe too I'm I'm kind of aiming for a thousand subscribers that would be nice and I think when I've got a thousand I'll just shut up about it because I'm on this, approaching 800 so if you know anyone that you think might like this channel um you know perhaps suggest it and if you don't subscribe well as long as you watch it and enjoy it that's that's that makes me happy so um i hope you're all well we're now battling through april it's um tuesday the 23rd of april 2024 um just dodging a few showers again today um, I started my week yesterday with a trip to the dentist. That was fun. Um, it was my six month checkup and a few weeks ago, because let's start this again. Being a child of the 1950s, dental care wasn't wonderful in those days. Let's just say that. Um, I think my mum took me to a dentist. We used to live in London when I was quite young. And uh, my mum took me to a dentist. I must, I don't know what had happened, but I ended up having some dental treatment. And I don't think in those cases they get, in those days they gave you like a jab or anything. Um, and perhaps with milk teeth, you don't really, perhaps it's easy to, to work on them. I don't know. But anyway, at the end of this trip to the dentist with my mother, um, they did something to my tooth. They might have put a filling in. I don't know. Um, but after that, she said to anyone that listened, she would say, Linda loves the dentist. She's very good at the dentist. Well, of course, I didn't love the dentist. Most of us don't really enjoy a trip to the dentist. Um, you go if you have to. Well, in those days, you go, you went if you had to. And we used to have the school dental lady come round and she'd always find something wrong with my teeth. It would usually be something, you know, that required a filling. I'd, I'm not trying, I'm not talking about dreadful, you know, things happening. But then you'd have to go to the um, the local dentist that was used by the school, which um, must have been a branch of Sweeney Todd's, I think, because honestly, it wasn't a pleasant experience. Um, I think a lot of people my age and older will remember having gas to have teeth out. I wasn't one of them. My sister did, though. And it was like a, you know, a crime scene when she came home. And poor girl, you know, they had... Um, it was, I think it was proper gas they gave them. I mean, just awful. Um, and the injections, such as they were, weren't as efficient as they are today. And basically, you know, I, I grew up with a bit of a, like a lot of people, a bit of a horror of the dentist. But then you have your own children and you have to be brave, don't you? And you have to take them. And you can't say, well, you go, but I'm not going because it's frightening. So you have to keep going and so we've, you know, I've been to the same dentist now for the best part of 40 years, but everyone changes in there <clears throat> and it's, um, it's like in an old converted house. So there's lots of little rooms and corridors and the stairs are like a, a sort of a ski slope. The, the, the gradient is really high on them and it's a bit of a, and you can't get past anybody else on the stairs, but, uh, you know, the dentist is fine. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Um, and he's apparently got a new nurse because I was sitting in the waiting room yesterday and you've got no visibility from the waiting room. This is a dentist story, by the way. No visibility, visibility from the waiting room to the surgery um, that, he, that she came out of. And I just heard somebody shout out, Linda. So um, I thought, well, is that me? Because obviously I'm not <clears throat> the only Linda in the world. Excuse me, I've just got to let my dog out. <clears throat> she always does this doesn't she um so that kind of put me off for a bit 
and um, so I went out and she sort of was looking at me from the corridor and so I went in with her and I don't think she had any particular skills, the old um, dental nurse. Um, she was a bit sort of nurse, nurse ratchet. She, um, the only part really she had to play was to get the sucky thing in your mouth and that's it as far as I could see. But anyway, I don't want to offend any dental nurses, but I'm sure I know, well, it must be a very um, difficult job to do. I mean, who wants to watch people spit out blood all day? I mean, it's just, it's not nice, is it? They never seem to last very long. But anyway, I went in and I said to the dentist, my filling broke um, two, about two months ago, so I'm going to need a crown. So he went through the whole number one, two, three, and then he's poking me while he's poking you with that pokey thing in your gum. And I'm thinking, well, why are you doing that? It just hurts. And um, at the end of it all, he's telling the, the dental nurse what to write down. You know, usual, this is how it works, isn't it? And he says, yeah, I think you need a crown. So I thought, well, I've told you, I've told you that. And um, so then he said, well, I've got time now. If I can numb you up and we'll sort of hone it down and then we'll uh, because I also had a um, hygienist appointment afterwards so I said well okay because I thought if we can get this over and done with today and this is where I realized that the, the dental nurse didn't really like me because the, for a start I was you know when you sit right back and I was really right back and my feet were in the air I thought the blood was going to rush to my head and he's going, you know, with this, he, he put loads and loads of that deadening stuff in my gum. I don't know if you call it Novocaine, that's the word that always brings to mind. And um, so uh, very quickly, I couldn't move any, move my face. And um, he's, he, so they, she lays me, they lay me right back and she's not sucking the stuff out that, it must be water, but it's tasted chemically. So, and he said, if you feel anything, put your hand up. Well, you try and be brave, don't you? And it wasn't agony or anything like that, but I could feel that sort of horrible, you know, it wasn't, I can't describe it as pain, but it was quite uncomfortable. So I thought, well, I'm not going to say anything, but you don't know whether they started work on it too quick sometimes, do you? So um, anyway, so he's carrying on and carrying on. And then I just started to cough. So he stopped and pushed me, pu pushed me up and all this stuff's gone down the back of me back of my throat and it's tasting really horrible and I said well it does hurt a bit and he said well it's probably just the water uh, anyway so then he lowers me back down again and then he's the same process and then he they swap places and she's still not sucking the the stuff out quickly enough so I'm swallowing all this stuff so it was all so delightful and then I went off to the um hygiene so I said come back and I'll put the temporary thing in, temporary, it doesn't call it a temporary thing, temporary, temporary covering, whatever it is, because there's always two weeks between you having your crown, having this bit done and your crown being fitted. And um, so I went off to the hygienist and that was delightful as well. Um, she always tells me off because there's a bit of, um, I've got a bridge in my, in my teeth and um, you know, like a crown with a bridge on it. And she's always tells me off because I don't get the, pokey you know the dental stick things and I, I it just gives me the EBG business and, she, and I do try and use it but she's all tells me off about that then she started poking the sharp thing all around my gums and um and and then it's all finishes when they put the toothpaste on with that brush thing and then that tickles your teeth doesn't it tickles your lip doesn't it so you're kind of sitting there while she's going around with this thing and it and then you keep jumping <laughs> <laughs> because it tickles your lips. I mean, it's just horrific. And then <laughs> I went back into the dentist after that who wanted to finish my um, um, temporary thing. And then he's saying to me, you know, when they say, and, and honestly, I couldn't feel anything and I caught sight of myself and my lip was just like this. It feels like that. It felt like I'd been punched in the face. And... Um, so he's fiddling about with this stuff that you have to bite down on that. I'm sure a lot of you will know what I'm talking about because I'm sure lots of people. I did say to him, is it unusual for me to have as many crowns as I've got for, for someone my age? Because I've got more crowns than the Blooming Tower of London in my mouth. It's just absolutely ridiculous. It cost me a fortune. And uh, he said, oh, no, no. And I thought, well, that gave me a, a bit of heartening anyway. So 
and then he tells me to, to bite down on this stuff and then because I can't feel anything I don't know if I'm biting when you think about what you're doing it's quite difficult to do it so <laughs> so he's saying right you, you put your jaw to the right a bit and I'm thinking so I'm putting my football jaw to the right bit more bit more no bit bit more to the other side bit more to the left but put it back a bit put it back. it's like talking down an aircraft honestly and I'm thinking I I just don't I can't even feel what I'm doing let alone follow all your instructions mate anyway we got that over and done with and um he put the thing on and it that was yesterday and it, it's it's still on but when I sat up I said it's really hard to do that to to, to level up your jaw and bite down naturally when you can't feel anything he went yeah I know and I'm thinking well, why are you barking all these blooming orders at me then and then of course they're going to charge me nearly 700 pounds for the joy of it all so that that was fun but um yes yeah, so that was my trip to the dentist so I've got uh, two weeks I'll be going back and um getting rid of some money and yeah wonderful Have, having said all this I know I'm moaning having a bit of a rant and I know lots of people out there are having to pull their own teeth out and can't get a dentist mine's national health I'm a national health patient but I never just spend because every time I go the checkup is um I think it's about 26 pounds so that's national health the hygienist isn't and that's 75 pounds for the hygienist don't know if that's what everyone charges um oh and she, the hygienist she has some classic i think it's classical radio on classic radio whatever it's called and honest to god it's like the album of uh, death and doom it's the most you want to be a bit uplifted don't you in there while they're doing all this poking and zzz and all the other stuff they do we nice to have some nice pop music on that you could kind of get into i don't mean sing obviously you can't sing but you know that would be nice but she has all this sort of there's no talking on it or very little and it's all this death and doom music it's absolutely ghastly but um anyway so that was my trip to the dentist and as i say i'm lucky that i've got a dentist um, the, um, the, the the crown you can well none of them are on the national health even if you have he did say I could have a, a silver one and I thought I don't really want to look like a pirate because it's a tooth here that you know you could possibly see so I've had to pay yeah I'm well I haven't paid for it yet but nearly 700 pounds um, and as I say 75 pounds for the other things so basically I mean what can you say they've all got Porsches haven't they dentists so I can see why um but there we go anyway so thank you for listening to that um I have a small you'll be glad to think I've got something else to show you I have got a very small B&M haul for you and I have also been to um Peacocks and had a little look in there so I'll show you what I got I will just shut this door because the dog's back in now and I'll be back with you. Oh, the other one wanted to go out then. Um, okay, well, the first thing to show you is from B&M. So I drove to a different town to the one I live in because the one we've got is in a high street and I still don't really know how you're just supposed to buy all the stuff in there and get it back to your car. So I went somewhere else. Um, now, you know, I've been going on about this garden um, that we're doing I wanted some new garden cushions and I wanted some that were um, shower resistant shower proof so um, I'd looked online and they had some quite nice cushions in there and I looked at I saw Matalan had some nice cushions but we've got around here we seem to have branches that don't have loads of all the stock that I see other people showing so I thought let's just go to B&M and um, be done with it. I did say B&M before, didn't I? Not B&Q. B&M anyway. So I bought, I needed eight cushions because I've got um, like a, I'm not showing off here or anything, but I've got a corner unit and I've got a, um, a smaller set of a, a two-seater sofa and a and two chairs that go with it. So I wanted eight cushions. So I bought each of these, I bought two of them. So this is the first one. This is shower, shower proof, it says. So we're talking cream and black. They did not have a massive choice, um, I have to say. And I ummed and about which colours to get. But 
I just settled for these in the end. So cream and black and it's a kind of reverse of the colours, same pattern. Um, and it says reversible cushion, urban nature, eight pounds, which I think is pretty good for a, um, a garden cushion because I looked at lots and they were about 16. And if you if you only want a couple, it's all right. But if you want, I wanted eight and I could probably do with a couple more really. Um, it's a lot of money and I'm not stingy, I don't think, but you know, we've got to spend our money wisely, haven't we? She says the woman with 2000 dresses as you saw in my last video. Um, so this one is 43 centimeters squared and it is for outdoor and indoor use. Um, it's fade resistant and shower proof. Yeah, fade resistant and shower proof um, to prolong its appearance. Do not leave this cushion in bright sunshine. Okay, so we've got two of those. Okay, I've got two of this colour. Again, this is um, shower resistant, so reversible shower resistant. And I got two of the green, which are the same, the orange and the green are the same. They're all the same size. So we've got these three colourways. And I thought they yeah, no, they I thought they'd they look good enough in the garden, those three patterns. They're all kind of um geometric Aztec type patterns which does seem to be all the rage at the moment if this is all this is on clothing as well not you know this sort of design seems to be on a lot of clothing as you'll see in a minute and the last one I got which you've got to be careful because I did know this because I read the label in the shop but this is not shower resistant this is just a box standard um, cushion that will look nice in the garden but it's I'm gonna have to Bring this in if it rains so um and i thought with the i hope you can see this all right i'm not really king of a camera am i uh, whoops with these two color uh, these two colorways i thought i thought that would be look quite nice um and i know i keep saying about this blooming garden we're nearly there i can't show you it yet because it's still just such a mess because we have so little time to get these jobs finished we did loads on um, Saturday or Sunday, whatever it was. Um, poor old current husband was um, working like a Trojan, to be fair to him. Um, and um, so we're, we're getting there. We need to get a gazebo um, because the old one went and we just need a gazebo or something out there. Which So we'll probably get a gazebo. So I'm looking through those and get that ordered. So I will show it to you all together when it's all done. Bet you can't wait right so that's the cushions um by the way oh no i'll tell you this at the end i'll mention this at the end so one thing i got for another thing i got from bnm was this planter which has kind of got that fake rattan look to it and to be honest i only picked this up because i'd got one shopping bag in my handbag and i needed I'd bought some little bits and pieces and I wanted something else to, <laughs> to put the little bit and pe bits and pieces in. But I like this anyway. It was eight, six pounds, six pounds. So it needs to have holes in the bottom, but I might put that on my, my table outside or just use it because I've started putting some, some bits and pieces in pots now. So there's that. Um, I bought... I haven't actually, I bought, I went there last week actually and I should have probably got this out and checked it on my ironing board but I bought that ironing board a present, it's got a new cover, this is a Beldre branded one, this was £10 um, and it's just, um, you know, fern pattern on it but my ironing board is quite big because I'm quite tall um, and they didn't have it, I, I don't, but I don't know what it measures, you see. So the problem I had was I don't know what size to buy. So basically, I went for the biggest one they sold in the shop. And this is, um, it goes up to 
126 centimetres long and 45 wide which is a metre and a bit isn't it and a bit over like a bit over a foot so it should fit anyway so that's it so the excitement of me putting that on my ironing board I tell you what it's just uh, can't believe it um got to have something to keep you going haven't you the next thing I got was I'm not really sure how I feel about these things but I thought I'd give it a try one of these um, dish brush with refillable handle includes three refills um, I've, I don't actually normally use the, these sorts of things I use the little sponges with a sponge at one side and the scour a bit on the other side um, and that usually does me but I thought well I'll give this a try and see how that is. I found actually recently that the sponges with the green bit on the top, you know, the scoury bit, I don't know if, I, th I thought actually I'd maybe I'd picked up the, the Friday afternoon packet with the last pack of them I had because every one I got out of the pack, the scour bit just came off after two or three uses, which is not really much use like that, is it? And then I opened another pack of ones that I've got for the, um, with the green scour on which I think are supposed to be for tougher you know um, and that did the same thing so I'm hoping that I don't know what's gone wrong with Sainsbury's and their collection of scouring sponges but anyway so I thought I'd try that I think you put the liquid in the handle or something it's all very high tech for me so and this was two pounds as you can see so I thought for two pounds we'll give that a go if it makes my life any easier um, now we've got the washing line back up I haven't used it yet because it keeps raining um, I thought I'll get a new container for my pegs so I got this it's by an Addis brand and it's it's um, water resistant peg bag and it's £3.50 and it's got a little thingy bob to hang it on the line um, oh, or you can, oh look, it's got little strappy things, hang on, hang on, hang on, oh look at this, I didn't notice this, um, oh, <laughs> the picture is of the woman walking around with it over her shoulder, I can't say I'll be doing that, but anyway, I thought it was quite a cute little bag, and I've got quite a lot of eggs, because I do quite a lot of washing, and it's quite big, I'm overusing the word quite um, with a little popper at the top so yeah I thought I'll give that a go and see see what I think I should probably be on the next video moaning about this won't I because it won't fit or it'll keep falling off the line um, I also bought a new toothbrush holder um, I bought a grey toothbrush holder from next that went with a pump soap container thing a few years ago and the pump soap thing gave up ages ago this was five pounds um, but the <clears throat> excuse me the, uh, the, the the thing that does this that matches it is higher and it's kind of shaped so basically you can't really clean in here very easily I suppose I could use my new pump um, my new thingy bob couldn't I but um so I thought I'll get this and um swap them over and hopefully that will I can clean that out better you know when you, when you want to get a scour thing in and you can't so I bought that what did I say five pounds and apparently it's perfect for electronic toothbrushes mm. there we go and the last thing I bought from B&M um, was a re two replacement mop heads. I've got a mop that looks just like this, so I'm assuming these will fit. I don't know what brand my mop is, um, but it's just a kind of, it says it's universal fit, so there we are. 350, there's two of them. So I'm sure you all know how a mop head works, but
So basically this bit sticks onto the bottom of my mop and that's that's it, Bob's your uncle. So um, that's handy to have a couple of, and then you go, they go in the washing machine. So that's quite good to, um, uh, you know, a, a just good replacement. Right, now what else? Oh, the other shop I went to while I was in this other town um, was I went to Peacock's because I was thinking I wanted to do another clothing haul and I've been looking and looking and looking at I've been looking at other people's videos and um, you know I, I, was, I was trying to think somewhere that was a bit different because I was thinking of Matalan because I quite like their stuff but there's been a, a few Matalan videos up recently um, the Bon Marche video was really popular actually. I'm not saying you've all rushed out and bought Bon, bon Marche clothes, but it was obviously it, it struck a note with some of you. And I was kind of thinking, I'm, I mean, I don't mind um, buying clothes that are a little bit more expensive or anything, but um, I think the lifestyle a lot of us seem to lead, and, and you, a lot of you seem to be like me. You, you know, we're obviously, well, nearly all of us are probably retired or spent quite a lot of time at home. Um, not everyone, I can't say everybody's retired at 70, are they? Um, but, um, and, and we want to look nice, but we don't want to spend loads of money because frankly there's no point and we probably wear the same things um, quite a lot of the time. Like, I don't mean the same things, I mean, you know, we, we put, put a pair of leggings on or a pair of jeans or something. We're not t tending to run around in taffeta ball gowns and things, are we? So um, I thought, oh, I'll have a look in Peacocks because I know there's one coming to wear our town were well, supposed to be this year anyway so um and I was quite surprised actually I was quite pleasantly surprised I mean you've got to pick and choose a bit um I, I went off the point a bit there what I was going to say was I looked on Matalan I looked on two I looked on next I looked on Marks and Spencers um I looked at anything I could think of really even things I've never heard places I've never heard of before I don't really want to do Sheehan and I for, for, for some of the reasons that some other YouTubers don't want to but other you know that's just because of the way that the people are treated but then I suppose you could say that about a lot of these companies so I don't know whether that's the right attitude or not it's just when you know about things isn't it if you don't know you don't think about it but when somebody points something out to you you kind of feel a bit bad about it so anyway I looked on all these websites and frankly I couldn't find hardly anything that I wanted so I went into Peacocks and I thought I'll pick up a couple of bits and I'll show you and I'll see what you think. So what I pick, I picked up three, four things actually. So I will show you them now as I normally do and then I'll try them on quickly. Um, the first thing is a pair of um, crop jeggings. I had a pair of Roman um, jeggings, crop um, yeah, Roman crop jeggings, which I've got rid of because they'd just gone, like the knees went all baggy. So I thought I'll look out for some new ones. Now these are Kate crop jegging, three, three, six, five. I don't know what any of that means, but I got it from Peacocks. And um, this is a size 20. They've got, um, what's her name? Uh, Louise Redknapp, she seems to be her stuff seems to be wafting around in there. I mean, I'd be surprised if she ever actually shopped in a Peacocks, but uh, um, she's obviously, <laughs> obviously got her name to some of these things. Who Kate is, I don't know, or if indeed Kate is a person, perhaps it's just the, the style of jeans. Um, they're stretchy, so I'm hoping they'll go on, but I haven't tried them yet. I don't know how long they'll be or how tight on the leg they'll be. Um, so we'll have a look in a moment. Um, and these were... Da, 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 these were £15. I thought, ooh. And I said, when I paid for this stuff, I said to the lady, because I bought a, um, a, a two tops and a pair of shoes, which I'll show you in a second. And I put the stuff on the counter and I said to the lady, how do your sizes come up? And she said, well, we don't get many, we don't get any half sizes. And I thought, what does she mean, half sizes? Then I realised she thought I was talking about the shoes. I said, no, no, I don't mean shoe sizes. I mean, you know, I said it'd be good if you could get a half size in clothes. But she said, well, they cut there. No, she said they come up quite true to size. So we'll find out, won't we, in a minute? Because I think I'm generally a, about a 20. 
most of my stuff I show you is in a 20, so there's those. And then I saw this, which is like a kimono top, which is black with a, I don't know if it's white or cream design on it. Um, I got this in an extra large and I don't really know. I, I did slip this on and I don't know whether it's too big or not, but I, so, I don't think it's so big that it really makes much difference, but I'm sure you'll let me know. So we'll try that on. I'm not sure how, I think the, the sleeves are long. It's just an edge to edge. And it's this visco stuff, so I did have to press it before I, well, I didn't have to, but I did because I'm good like that. Um, and uh, it's got fence at the side. Um, so we'll see how that looks. And I, I didn't realize actually when I bought this stuff, I kind of bought a little outfit. Um, I just picked up individual things. Um, the underneath there is, I bought this little t-shirt which, oh, sorry, my hangers are scraping around on the table. So this is, this is in their Peacock's Beautiful Basics range. Did I tell you how much that kimono thing was? It's £16. £16, sorry. £16 that was. Um, did I say £16? Uh, this is the back and this is the front. Uh, just a black sort of ribbed tee. Um with this little bit of lace on the front and I got this in a 24 and I got this in a 24 because I thought I wasn't sure how long it would be on me if it was a 20 so I'll tell you what else I saw in there that I really was tempted to get they, they've got a nice sort of oatmeal blazer in there and um, old Louise Redknapp was wearing one in the picture I thought I'd look just like her and um, but they didn't have my size, they had, no, they did, I'm lying, they had a 20 and a 24 and I thought, oh, I, perhaps I should get a 20 because sometimes jackets and that round your old boobies, they you know, you never can tell and there wasn't a, ch I couldn't see a changing room anywhere and I didn't really want to stand in the middle of the shop whipping my coat off and, you know, getting my bits out and, um, so I thought I'll try and order that online. So I think I might do that. If they've still got stock, um, I'll get a size 22. I should really get both sizes and send one back, shouldn't I? I don't know. Sometimes that's better, isn't it? But I thought if I buy these few things and see how their sizes go, I'd have a better idea of whether there's things come up small or not. So anyway, I'm oh, sorry, I, I digress here, I don't I? So anyway, so that's the, the T-shirt. And the other thing I got was a pair of, I don't know what you call these, you call them pumps. They had some quite cute little bags in there and they had quite a lot of sandals, but they didn't fit my criteria of not going round your ankle, you know, an ankle strap. I don't like that because of my fat ankles. Oh, by the way, I meant to say this. A few of you in the, because the, the last video I did was me going through my wardrobe and showing you some of my summer stuff and should I keep it or should I not keep it, if you're keeping up with my videos. And one or two people sort of seem, because I, I do take the mickey out of myself and I do point out my faults. I just, I do it. I can't stop doing it. But don't sort of think that I'm sort of crying on the inside or anything. You are what you are. And I kind of, I just sort of t say what I think of say what I think of things really so if I think I've got a bit blamonji I'm a bit blamonji I'm not don't you don't have to say oh don't be so hard on yourself or blah blah blah, blah. honestly it's just the way I am and I, I can't be any different I'm just the way I am on this this on my videos is just the way I am in life so um if I if I use the sort of de self-deprecating comments you don't need to write to me and say, oh, no, you're lovely or you're, you're not like this or you're... Well, you can tell me I'm lovely. I don't mind that. But you know what I mean. So don't, but don't worry. It's just, just what I say and it doesn't mean anything. So um, it's just what I, I can't... You can't break the habit of a lifetime, can you? Anyway, so these shoes. Um, I've got a similar pair. Actually, I bought them from two in Sainsbury's, I think about two or three years ago. They're this type of thing, so they're just a, with a fake um, lace thing at the front. 
um, and I bought a grey pair and a blue pair and they look like the blue pair look like they're a bit denim you know and um, I wear them quite a lot the one pair gave up because um, I put them in the washing machine and I didn't take the sole thing out and it all went a bit wrong but the other pair I still wear and I thought oh I'll just get another pair to um, complement them because these are quite nice with dresses and things in the summer and um, I bought a size 8 because they didn't say they were um, wide fit or anything um, and I did slip these on the other day and they do come up a bit big so these were £10 so I'll probably keep them. I don't think they're sort of going to fall off my feet, but we'll find out because I'll have a little try on and I'll try the th three things on together. If I get the jeans on, I'll try the three things on together and um, I'll show you and ha I'll have a little walk up and down and uh, you can see. I don't know why I'm doing that. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so that's that was that. And if this is successful, I will um, go back again and I will do another... Peacock's Hall, because I haven't seen too many of those. There's probably some around. but um, And they do loads of children. Well, you probably know, don't you? They do loads of children's stuff. And I did think about looking around for the grandchildren. Um, but then I thought, oh, no, it's all about me today, isn't it? So um, I, I've just uh, bought these three things. So I'm just going to go and change into these. And I will see you in a minute. Okay bit of a mixed review here but on the whole I think pretty good so the kimono I got in an extra large I think I could probably have done just with the large but it's okay I think it's something I can get away with um, the t-shirt is does show my bumps off a bit but it's quite I think it's probably quite a useful t-shirt to wear um, the trousers fit as in they are I don't need a bigger size they're a bit of an odd fit though they um they make you look a bit camel toe where I don't think I am but um I will show you the side view of this and the back view um, I'm not sure if you can still see the shoes i think it, it's kind of my sort of outfit um i know i've got to move this camera i'm so sorry a bit wonky anyway if i can show you the shoes a bit better that will help um they are on the big side but they're not stopping off my um my heels so i think i think i will do a um I'll go back and do a bit of a shop and do a slightly bigger haul, but I think I know. I, I was uh, I was sort of overestimating, over, yeah, overestimating the size I'd need. So this is too big. Trousers are okay. Shoes are a little bit too big. T-shirt. I w I wouldn't have said this was a size twenty-four. To be fair, I would think if I'm only a twenty. I don't know. Well, I suppose it depends how tight you like wearing things. Um, let me just... Sorry about this wonky camera work. So, I don't know. It's, there's not really loads of room in it, but it, I think it's fine under this. I think it's quite a nice t-shirt if you, <laughs> if you hold your tummy in. Um, but anyway, let me know what you think. Um, and if you would like if you've got any suggestions of anywhere you'd like me to to have a look that perhaps I haven't thought of um, do let me know um, I did just as an add-on I did forget to, to, to mention all those cushions I showed you they were all eight pounds each so I think they're quite I don't know how well they'll do through the year but uh, I don't didn't think that was that I mean they're half the price of some of the other cushions that are around maybe the other ones are a bit bigger I don't know but they're they're ample for what we need um, and the other thing I was going to say is the um, as a result of the the video I did last week, which was the um, shall I keep my summer dresses or donate them? There's quite a lot of interest from some of you about because I couldn't I didn't actually put them on because the video was so long I didn't do a try on. 
So I thought what I do, I'll do is I'll pick maybe four or five of the dresses that you've mentioned and put them on and show you in the next video. And, and then hopefully by then we'll have this flipping garden done and I can show you that video as well. So um, yeah, I, I think I'll do that next time. So in the meantime, if, you, if you've got any... Um, any of the dresses you particularly want me to see, want to see me in, if you're a, a regular viewer and you were commenting on them, I'm not I'm sure if you're new you won't care, but um, just let me know and um, I'll dig that one out, but I, otherwise I'll just pick the ones that you mentioned most and show you, because I feel I've shortchanged you a bit, but thank you for looking at that video, <laughs> it was ever so long, wasn't it, it was about 40 minutes and I thought you'd be asleep by the end. Anyway, <clears throat> excuse me, anyway, I'll just give you one more look at this outfit. And uh, let me know what you think. Okay then. Um, Sorry about the glare. I know I say it every time, but it's, the sun's really out now. Thank you so much for watching. It's been really good to have your company. Um, it will be nice to have your company again. So I will see you in the next video, which hopefully I'll get up quite soon. So thanks a lot. See you soon. Bye bye.